Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a bit of everything. We're back home as you can see and I don't know why my hair is so messed up but today's the video where we're gonna actually cut my hair. But first things first. So I've been doing work calls since the moment I opened my eyes, literally. I had very, very many important work calls for 2024. It's only 8th of January today. It's the first day that I'm back to work fully, <laughs> if I can say so. But we must run because it's now 1 p.m. So I had calls all morning and now at 1 I have a lunch meeting and then I'm going to bring you with me. And then today we're getting my haircut and I want to cut it quite significantly. So are you ready? Because we need to go. Guys, okay, so we had a lovely meeting with my agency, lots of plans for this year. As I told you guys, now we're in a very random <laughs> street in Milan, as you can see. I'm actually going to get my hair cut. So are you ready to get a haircut? New year, new hair. Let's do this. Guys, yesterday I really had an intention of vlogging the whole day long and then I think it was like my first day back to work since holidays and honestly, at first I had like three calls in the morning, then I had like another like very important meeting call at midday. At one I had a meeting with my management team which is when I basically stopped filming like a lot of strategizing for this year. Then I was so buzzing because I had like a very important meeting at 12 and then that big meeting at 1 till 3 basically. So I told Filippo, you know what? I I can't fit in these like big important meetings anymore in one day because like I'm impressionable when it comes to business and basically I was buzzing for the rest of the day like crazy so then I went to get a haircut right which you kind of saw a little bit of but I also didn't really vlog that much so I wanted to show you now this is it we cut quite a bit I mean obviously now we haven't styled it I was like don't style it just like blow dry it and that's it it looks like a little bit curlier on this side than on this side but it doesn't matter the point is the length like my hair was still here basically we chopped off all the ends i actually wanted to cut more i wanted to cut like this like the kind of kendall general length you know that length which is like not long and not short but the hairdresser was like let's cut this long and then next time you come let's cut more he was like you're tall you are a long hair girl it's fine i just like i don't know what it is i got to a point where i'm like i don't know if i like to see too long hair anymore i love long hair but it's just like i don't know like literally while i was in dubai every single day i was saying I can't wait to go back to cut my hair. I can't wait to go back to cut my hair. Also, another thing I can't wait to do is get my nails done because I've shown you already, I think like they've grown out so much. Like it's really, 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 we're in desperate need of getting them done. And I was even gonna go for a burgundy, like a dark burgundy nails, but I'm not gonna do that because then I got like a lot of jobs already for January that I need to do. And a lot of the jobs that I do have a brief, which say neutral nails. And honestly, for my job and what, what I do, maybe it's just an excuse excuse for me. Neutral nails just make the most sense. Anyway, that being said, I'm super happy to be back home. Guys, I am obsessed with this lip gloss. I didn't really pack it with me to Dubai for some very unknown reason because honestly, I say unknown reason because it's literally my favorite, favorite lip gloss that I have. It's so beautiful. I'll link it below. Check the lip gloss. Love it. My sister, when we were in Dubai, she brought me a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, things that I have ordered previously to the UK and that have arrived. So I want to show you some of the things here. Lip has been calling me. I hope it's nothing urgent. Yes, it's urgent. He posted like this. It means urgent. Okay, let's see what it is. Urgent. In the meanwhile. Maybe is it urgent? So, guys, Filippo was calling me because actually I want to do a blood test because in December, like towards the end of December, I did a little blood test in Dubai just because like I was getting like sick towards the end of December. I think like I was a little bit overworked in December and I just want to check that my immune system is on full power. I, to be very honest, I have like such a crazy busy lifestyle. We all know that, right? But on top of that, I stopped taking my supplements towards the second half of the year. I don't understand why and it really reflected on my health. I guess like my routine and my nutrients. Like how do these people expect that I uh, film a video? You know what I mean? How? Guys, I don't understand. I guess like people are used to me and being on holidays. So it's either my mom or dad, my sister, Filippo, calling me. I'm like, 
guys, I'm back to work, you know? So, a long story short, I am doing a blood test tomorrow because I need to make sure that I'm back. I had like um, four IV drips of like full of minerals. One I had like in a beauty clinic that you guys saw, but I three I had the proper like doctor and a nurse while we were in Dubai. And I think it's like really brought me back to life. It's really important. So I wanna see how my blood's doing right now because for 2024, one of my big goals is focus on health because I think I'm already really focused on my mental health. That was like the big focus on 2023 because I worked so much on myself. I worked on being like a way better version of myself. And I think like I really, really managed and I feel mentally in such a good place. So next up is physical health. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I brought. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Flawless Filter. Mine is in shade three. I don't actually, this is like very pale for me, I think. I have two, but this is like quite pale for me. This is the Rose Ink. You guys know how much I love this. Skin Enhance Luminous Serum in shade 60. You always ask me this. I will link this below because I love it. I bought like several of these. I go pretty fast through it because I think it's literally the product. I want to try. I think like I kind of tried it before, but I want to see how it is. The Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. Here we go. There's another brow product that I really want to try. Like I want to really take great care of my eyebrows in 2024. And I read a lot about like brow gels and the ones that are really good for your eyebrows and the ones that are not the great for your eyebrows so i think i'm gonna change some things in my routine then i don't know why this is here but this is my charlotte tilbury this is like a blush i think hollywood blush yeah in shade dark i believe deep yeah love it also something i'm really dying to try it's renutritive i guess ultimate diamond transformative this is the brilliant serum and this is the transformative serum so these two i really want to try i've been doing this since i came back a lot more retinol because truthfully i haven't done that much of it while we were away. Is this the same? Yeah, I think it's the same. It's just that this is a refill and this is the original serum. Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at this packaging. Love it. So what it is, I did a lot more retinol because when I'm sunbathing, I don't actually tend to do a lot of retinol, but now I want my glow back, especially before the fashion month. We got Summer Fridays lip butter. Oh my God, I just saw that they're launching like sort of like lip tints and I'm so here for it. I need to check them out when I go back to the US. Then this is empty because I've already opened it. It is the Kosas highlighter, creamy one. Then I got the Airbrow from Kosas Clear Lifting Treatment Gel with Lamination Effect. I wouldn't really call it Lamination Effect. Let me tell you, I love this brow gel. It's one of my favorites, right? It's this one. You guys seen me use it so many times, but I mean, Lamination Effect for me personally is something else, especially when you have like coarse, unruly brows. Now, I bought like one, two, three, four, but my sister, she said this one wouldn't fit, so she unboxed it. So I bought four of my favorite Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Ultimate Cleanse. I love this. This is for me the best makeup remover. It's quite expensive. I will link it below. I mean, it depends. It lasts a long time. For me, it lasts at least like a month or so, maybe even more. Depends how, you know, much makeup and how heavy makeup I do. So it depends how many pumps I need. But literally, I don't want to use anything else. That's what I want to use. And I think it is the best. So it's the best. What we're going to do, we're going to need to unpack that. Put it away. I'm happy that like my wardrobe's finally looking, you know, like organized-ish. One thing that I definitely need is to reorganize a little bit my bags. There's something that you haven't seen properly, I think. This looks a little bit busier than usually, obviously. Throughout December, you saw me unbox the Fendi Sparkly bag, then also the Prada red one, the silver Chanel one. I got the Dior. Wait, I need to show you all these bags that you haven't seen before. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is like a few things that I feel like I haven't really addressed on my YouTube channel and that are quite important. Important. So this bag over here is the Fendi Peekaboo fully crystallized. Look how beautiful this bag is. Like, ah, gorgeous. Well, I haven't actually shown it on my channel properly because I got it like quite late in the year, but I think it's a perfect bag for this time of the year. Love it. But anyway, for any time of the year, another bag that you haven't seen. Have you seen this one? I'm not sure if I've properly shown it, but I also received this from Chanel for Christmas, just from the, my London crew, not the Paris. But look how beautiful. It's like perfect if you ask me for like when you're traveling so you want to put like maybe your wallet and some things that you need to like on you know like close to your body a 
boarding pass perhaps so 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 cute wait let's stop this chain in properly silver is quite a holiday this season shall we do like next video maybe we should do um trends I like the trends of 2024 shall we do that yesterday i wore this bag by the way that's why it's still open because i was digging for the microphone it was inside this you've seen this in my prada unboxing how cute i also got the clio in matching color by the way like prada clio is my favorite bag like from prada where is my clio oh it's here so i was actually so devastated I was actually so devastated when I got robbed and my white Prada Clio bag got stolen. Like, devastated. That was really, for me, I was unhappy about that. Obviously, I was unhappy about the whole thing, but that was really, really sad. I love this bag so much, and it's in this beautiful, very popular red color. I want to go again to mountains. Like, we're just trying to figure out when Philippe and I, because honestly, most of the weekends, like, so this weekend, I'll be doing men's fashion week, right? So for that, I'm already going to be, like, very busy next weekend. It's going to be couture weekend. So maybe the weekend after that one we can go away But then I'm already getting invited to do a lot of like work and jobs And I don't know how to do it all This I think you have seen It is my new Ferragamo Wanda bag Love it I'm very much getting into more kind of muted Not too much going on bags I would say like logo wise But at the same time, you know, I go through different phases So you'll see like I actually just placed an order on that Porta this morning And I ordered like quite a few bags I'm not gonna keep them all but you guys are gonna help me which ones i want to keep because i'm like going to fashion week i need like these kind of more i don't quite know how to explain it but more like neutral vibe when it comes to branding bags i'm keeping like the last one the one that you guys will be like what hold on how then obviously you have seen i think my two mew mew wonder bags i love them so much look at this this is the micro one and this is the small one and this is so cute also as a party bag i love it it's kind of champagne color not gold not silver something in between and i really really love them I also have done unboxing on my Instagram of these. Something else that you haven't seen is what I got from Dior for Christmas. Look how cute this oblique logo little bag. There's a belt somewhere. I think it's probably in my belt. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very, very cute and I really like it. I think like my favorite Dior bag. I'll insert the picture. I mean, obviously Dior is my favorite Dior bag actually. Nothing else needs to be said. That's it. Okay, then I left this for the end. I haven't actually done a proper unboxing Filippo has filmed me unbox it when he gave it to me when he arrived in Dubai and he filmed me because at Burj Al Arab we had this mirror in the ceiling and he filmed me unbox it but then the moment that I took it out of the actual box he stopped filming I'm a terribly done job anyway guys this is my Hermes shadow clutch in color beige Martha and it's actually a blue box a bag it has like a magnetic closure it's obviously a shadow as you can see it's very very rare and special clutch as you can see inside it has one back pocket what i love about this bag is the same thing that i love about Hermes pochette is that it's so like soft so for new year's eve i wore this clutch and i could fit like a lot in it but also it was like so soft and not like you know when you wear mini kelly you feel a bit like it's hard it's not like you know what i mean you carry it like that obviously i love this bag but i love to wear it crossbody i don't like to wear it like this whereas this i love to wear like this and it just looks more casual you see what i mean and even if i grab it like this i feel I feel like it's such a perfect 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 bag i really love it what do you think so yeah when Filippo gave me this one i was like okay this has never really been on my wish list he got this offered and he was like i don't know if tamara's gonna like it then he asked my friends he asked xenia he asked my sister so my sister was like oh, i don't know if tamara's gonna like this xenia was like obsessed so over like some time and anyway he ended up getting it and i really love it i actually would love to wear it with like jeans white shirt and just like this you know for like a cute lunch so love it but i need to really organize since now i got like quite a few new nice bags i need to organize them i need to send some to some of my bags i actually keep in trezor in like in a bank because of safety reasons so i need to reorganize that before we actually head away for the fashion one and all that good stuff so that's that i also have something there orange to unbox it's like a tiny thing but i'm gonna do it for tiktok so if you don't follow me on tiktok go and check it out there i might show it later on here but the plan for today is I have a lot of work to do 
and then after that i am actually heading to get my nails done which i'm so excited for you guys cannot even understand how excited i am for that i feel like i desperately just need to like reset my whole body into the factory set things in a way i also need to organize the shoes because at one point last year i think like we painted the room and i wasn't at home when all the shoes were taken out of the shelves and put back in but i don't like that the black shoes are on top and the colorful shoes are at the bottom i wanted it other way around but honestly there's like how many pairs of shoes do you think there are it's just like a huge job <laughs> to actually take everything down then put it all back in it just feels like such a big job also what i'm currently searching for i'm searching for a burgundy cashmere knit i was hoping that i'll find one from kate but actually burgundy was not on their color palette for some reason maybe it was like last year or something like that so yeah if you guys know where i can find like a good burgundy cashmere knit let me know because i'd love to have one and that's that also i have my song mom bags i think you guys have seen this i want to like style them this week i want to style especially this one the like smaller one i really really love it i think this such a cute bag would you think actually goes really well with this knit so a lot of organization but that's not my actual priority i have so many kind of like projects i'm working on right now and i like the way that this year has started is that there's way more work than any other year before so it's looking really good for 2024 a lot of like fresh energy as well which i'm loving so yeah tomorrow also we are going to monaco but this video is going live tomorrow so actually the monaco vlog is going to be the next one i want to vlog from monaco but at the same time i want to finish this vlog first so today you guys are spending a day with me guys i am back in my living room i just need to keep an eye on time actually because i need to leave okay it's good i was gonna say i think like i haven't actually shown you some of the updates that we've done at home in december so i just made myself cinnamon coffee maybe it doesn't look that appealing but these are the flowers by the way that filippo <laughs> sent me for our orthodox christmas i actually posted a card as well on my stories i'll insert the picture here is so cute because he tried to google translate it so the card said Christos Eradi Moa Ljubav which is so adorable because it's like almost correct but not quite and I just really 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 love it I think it's so cute how he wanted to surprise me and like you know I love how respectful he is of my culture that's really beautiful so obviously here you guys know we still are yet to finish but okay don't pay attention to the dining room now it's like chaotic because we still haven't actually unpacked everything from our trip but over here I don't know if you have seen this comment it arrived in December and then we have a picture here which actually has a light it turns on with like a remote control but I really really like it how it looks let me try and find it here we go and I think it's quite cute I don't know what you guys think but that's that and we also got I don't know how to show you without showing outside of the window maybe I'll try and show it to you tonight this lamp that now Filippo doesn't like it here so we're gonna try and change where it's actually at so we're gonna put it in this second part of the living room or like probably as well when the tv arrives so other than that over here it's everything as you know we have the Vasily chair here and then the console is here with this picture and this one of my favorite lamps in the whole entire world I really Really, really love it so now in this week coming i think i told you we're going tomorrow to monaco but that's because i'm a little bit lost this week in the days because i worked it's gonna sound so ridiculous i worked so hard yesterday i promise i really worked so hard yesterday or i'm just delusional because i'm right back from holidays that i actually felt like it was two days of the week so i'm not going to monaco tomorrow i'm going to monaco day after tomorrow tomorrow i have to do my blood test i'm going to have a dentist appointment i have several meetings so we have lots of things to do still tomorrow and then the day after we're going to monaco but tomorrow we also have carpenters coming we're actually starting to work on the wall in our bedroom i have a lot of changes i also need to build a vanity table i actually need to plan it how i want it to look and how i want it to be probably something like kind of marblish i have no idea yet like maybe like onyx but colored onyx i need to figure that out so that's going to be a big mission for january because i want to finish everything home related in january everything that has like my my impact so that i can let people work on their thing while i'm gone for fashion week because then i don't want to think about home if that makes sense also so i just told you that i got flowers from filippo for orthodox christmas like and i posted it and i got so many dms from people saying like wait i'm orthodox and christmas was on 25th of december mainly greek people because actually if you google when is orthodox christmas google will tell you it's on 7th of january because they're like two calendars right so there's like julian calendar from julius caesar and there's gregorian calendar as well and we use calendar which is like two weeks there's like two weeks in between the two calendars except greek people they use one calendar for christmas and the other calendar for easter so it's quite different to us but 
a lot of Greek people message me like I'm Orthodox and actually we celebrate Christmas in December and I think it's only Greek people actually that celebrate Christmas on 25th of December but all the rest Orthodox celebrate Christmas on January. Hope that explains it a little bit because there were so many DMs and it's so crazy for me because when I went to university one of my best friends she's still one of my good friends she is Greek and when I told her that we're also Orthodox and we celebrate Christmas in January she was so shocked she had no idea and for me it's just like so incredible it's also so shocking for me not shocking shocking is not a good word surprising for me that like it's not so widely known thing but I guess it is for me because I am involved in such a multicultural environment and I <laughs> I pretty much celebrate every Christmas every Easter every holiday every like it doesn't matter which religion like it is we celebrate everything in this house because we have friends in every possible culture and religion and I can say pretty much one word in most of the languages of the world so yeah that's some of the perks of being very multiculty as I like to say it but yeah very happy to be back home I think we're gonna leave in like around 40-ish minutes we're gonna go to nail appointment but in the meanwhile I definitely want to finish that cinnamon coffee Guys, I am currently all done. Look at this, nails fresh. Loving, loving, loving the baby boomer, actually. I haven't had this for quite a while, at least like two, three months, but actually I had the baby boomer manicure when I got engaged, and it was the only time that I had a kind of unique manicure that I never repeated again, which was baby boomer. So it's this kind of ombre gradient. Can you see? Here we go, it's like a gradient, but I had it with a glazed donut, love it. So what are we doing right now? I'm actually gonna head a little bit to town. I want to go and check out some stuff and the first time ever i'm looking at these buildings they're so beautiful let me show you look at this one how gorgeous honestly milan is full of hidden gems so i'm still quite like close to duomo i want to check in a few things i want to go to renascente which is usually quite busy but there's one fragrance that i really want to smell and maybe buy so i'll bring you guys with me okay guys during the vlogmas we were right here i think they're taking down the christmas tree so no more until the next year i know so many of you already said that you miss vlogmas but i think my team definitely does doesn't miss it because yeah it's a lot of work i want a coffee i want to go to smell that fragrance and also i want to go to a vintage shop to check out some vintage bags so also i'm very comfortably dressed i'm wearing these are nice shoes for the first time ever i quite like them very comfy it is getting very cold in milan though and also i'm not a huge fan of pigeons by the way Ooh they're flying everywhere well guys i'm leaving renascente with a tail between my legs because they don't have what i wanted but that's okay because i'm gonna find it somewhere else and now i think Filippo was like see you at home we have a dinner tonight at 8 30 so it's still sometimes like 5 p.m now but yeah i wanted to like take it off my list Guys, good morning. It's a new day. And honestly, I want to tell you one thing. I am literally, again, in the same cashmere knit. But when I'm at home, I just love, love, love cashmere sets, and especially this one. So, started this day very productively. I woke up very early. I feel like I'm fully out of my holiday mode. And I've done several emails. I'm currently, as many of you have actually seen, I've advertised for two positions. We're trying to expand our team and kind of like mainstream some of the processes at work. So we're looking for operations manager and a PA based in Paris, which... I'm definitely gonna need because I'm gonna be spending like a lot of time in Paris as well in 2024 so yeah I am going together with my team through all the candidates and now we're going through like the second phase it's like taking so long because we had 1700 applications it's crazy besides that I have like a zoom call in 25 minutes and I have to eat something before it I have lots of meetings and calls as well today also Philippe was recommended me someone as well for my team so I'm meeting them today someone who was on his team so there's like lots and lots going on I have like people People working at home because we are actually changing stuff in the bedroom I'll try and show it to you but one of my big big important ins for 2024 is LED masks so I was here working and also I was doing my LED masking let me see if I can show you so yeah I think you can see that there is some work in progress I mean luckily I don't have to film any videos really because yeah 
I can't even show you actually because they're there. So this is the situation at the moment. This week it started being like really, really crazy freezing in Milan, like freezing. Yesterday I was like, okay, my arms will fall off. That's how cold it is. But this weekend we're having men's fashion week in Milan. And you know what? I was thinking I have not skipped a men's fashion week in like two years, I think even more than two years, I think. But Filippo was like, if we don't go to mountains this weekend, we're not gonna go this winter at all because fashion one starts very soon. And then I have to go for couture. Like I'm definitely not skipping couture. So it was like, should I skip men's or should I skip couture? So ended up deciding that I'm gonna skip this men's fashion week. And I think it's okay. Like I think it's the kind of new year of me like really prioritizing what I think it's so important and I'm trying, well, I'm not trying. I had this conversation with my agency and they said, listen, Tamara, you pretty much get invited to like most of the things that you want, let's say. So now is the time for us to be like more exclusive and more picky and choosy. And I thought like I was already like very picky and choosy. Like how do you choose between like, you know what I mean? Like when it goes to Milan or Paris, like between the top shows, when back in the days I used to dream about being invited to anything at all. And I was not invited to anything. Like my first New York Fashion Week, I remember I was not invited literally to anything like that I ever heard of before, but I still attended all the shows because it was such a big dream of mine. So it's kind of hard to change the mentality as you're progressing in your career. I have to be honest about that, but I'm also very happy because obviously I think we're going to have so much fresh energy in 2024 and I'm actually getting back a lot of enthusiasm and passion for creating. So that's really incredible. But yeah, I think Philippe and I are going to go to mountains this weekend and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like it's going to be the best, literally. I also am still searching for a burgundy need. Like guys, yesterday I even passed Cos. Cos is like one of my favorites, like absolute favorites. They have like incredible things. Couldn't see anything burgundy, but they were having sales. So it was a bit like messy. I need to check. I'm going to check my deporte today. I'm sure. No, I think I already checked nap. I think I need to check my three cent matches maybe because like literally couldn't find anything like simple burgundy. And Clippa came home and he was wearing a burgundy knit from Uniqlo. And I was like, hmm, I need to steal this one. Anyway, I'm going to go make myself a toast. Nothing like crazy. Just a toast, uh, finish a coffee, get back to my team so that they know what they're doing while I'm like busy for the rest of the day and I'll update you in a sec. Also guys, this is my favorite background or like place when I'm doing any kind of Zoom calls because it's so peaceful, like the guest bedroom, nobody really comes here. As you can see, like I don't even come here. So I even have a little office set up here that I never really use, but yeah, I made myself a coffee, cinnamon, latte. I just put cinnamon in it. It's really, really great. And I'm jumping on that Zoom call. So I'll update you in a bit. Guys, we're back in the bathroom because Philippe was collecting me in exactly 12 minutes we're gonna go for lunch so i wanted to do a quick updated makeup and obviously i'm gonna change out of this outfit getting used to my shorter hair also i want to do a toner because i want i don't know should i go a little bit darker for fashion week what do you guys think that's one thing i need to figure out because i always before fashion week i make sure that i give a lot of nourishing especially to my eyebrows and lashes okay so a bit of a right lash then what shall we use for makeup Let's use some different things that I don't usually go for. So I'm gonna go for this NARS Laguna Original Bronzer, which is creamy one, to give myself a bit of warmth. Oh, it is very pigmented. I didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on blending this. Okay. So very nice. I had a Zoom call, by the way, that you all could have seen. It was incredible. It was my life coaching and currently super helpful, especially as we are doing the team expansion. So that was great. Really enjoyed it, actually. It's like gonna be almost a year that I'm actively doing therapy, that I'm actively doing my life coach sessions. And honestly, you know, when something feels great, I never skip one. This is the Sai Brosy blush. Just a little bit on the highs of my cheekbones and you know when like i remember i don't know like when i was doing different things you know and you just feel like not doing something it means that it's not right thing for you but like when it comes to my therapist and my life coach i honestly love them i love them you know especially like my therapist i always tell her like wow your friends are so lucky you're such an amazing person to have around and i honestly mean that plus i respect her so much because she's so smart and so incredible i'm gonna use this beef lip liner in velvet sands i believe what is it velvet sands yeah i only usually like overline my lip here because i have like a weird lower lip in, not weird but let me wipe it out to show you okay here you see these two lines i've had it my whole life it's just like i have very pronounced cupid's bow and very pronounced bottom cupid's bow 
So I guess you win some and you lose some. I love this lip liner, it's so beautiful. So today I'm going for lunch with Filippo. Right now that's kind of unplanned, but it's okay. And after that, I'm gonna go to Van Cleef because I wanna bring that one earring to be repaired. Oh, I love this. By the way, I have so many nice lip glosses at the moment that I'm loving. So I have this one from Buxom that I bought in Dubai. It's like a plumping one. I have the Pat McGrath one, I'll link it below. And I have this Charlotte Tilbury one, this one. Okay, look how beautiful. Beautiful. What shall we do? I don't know. I'll do what I did yesterday. I really like that actually. So what I'll do is I'll do a touch of the books and one. Love it. I'm not gonna do a lot of makeup to be honest. And then I'll apply a touch of this Hat and Graph one. Beautiful. Love it so much. For the eyes, I'm gonna do Charlotte Tilbury palette that I also used yesterday. It's so pretty. I mean inside, to be very honest with you, I don't use many colors. I literally only use the top row. Everything <laughs> below is a little bit too much for me. But I use the middle shade. Also, I've been like so into self-care. I'm doing my LED mask every day. I'm doing my castor oil for brows and lashes. I'm doing like retinol regularly. So this is the lol. It's okay because I still haven't done the concealer. And I'm really enjoying all the little love that I've been giving myself. Now here for the concealer, it's the Rosing concealer. Mine is in shade 050. This beauty here. Okay, love it. I want to try some other Rose Ink products actually that have just launched because I love her products so much. And I've seen Guys, I just got a text message from Filippo being like coming. He'll be down in four minutes. Look at what stage am I in? My memory card died on the camera. Here is the proof, okay? And so the sound now is also gonna be inconsistent because my bathroom is quite echoey. And on top of that, I haven't even done mascara. So I'll update you when we leave. Guys, I have no mirror to show you what I'm wearing because yeah, you're aware. And I'm wearing for the first time ever these Chanel loafers. I hope I'm not gonna freeze because yeah, bare ankles, Laura Piana jeans, like cashmere like I think it's from Cos, Saint Laurent coat and for the first time ever also wearing this beauty. I'm so excited actually. Philippe was already waiting for me so we need to run. Filippo! Yeah. Why are you wearing the, this headband when we're not skiing in the mountains? Because it's very 70s and I, uh, you know... I You're trying to make it happen, huh? Yeah. You're trying to make it like Why? that. Are we going skiing? Perhaps. Yeah. So I have like three options of where we should go this weekend. Okay. Shoot. One is St. Moritz, yep. which is like a safe option. We've been before, we love it. Yeah. One is Le Fay, that everybody is like obsessed with in Dolomites. Okay, but Dolomites may be a bit far. Yeah? Yeah, and we have to be back on Sunday night, you know that. No, I know that. Are you yeah. sure it's a bit far? Because everybody always goes to this place, Le Fay. Yeah. Le Fay, Le Fay, okay, yeah. Maybe. And the third option is another hotel that I have in Dolomites. But now that you said it's far, I guess it's enough. I think the easiest one is St. Moritz because maybe it's two hours drive, boom. That's a bit exaggerated. But, but okay, I'm in because I love St. Martin so much. That's it. Well, let's see how far is the other two places and then we... I'm going to show you now when you sit down. Where are we going for? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. because I want my aglio olio e peperoncino. Spaghetti. Si. Yes. You know when you wake up and you, you are craving something? Yeah. That's what I want to So watch. this morning, I had a call with Enrico. It was very successful. Good. I had, you know, my Zoom call. Yeah. That was really super successful. Good. And I had... That's what I want to hear. A lot of work done. That's what I want to hear. Because, you know, guys, yesterday, Tommy didn't have a best day. He was a little no, bit... No, yesterday in the afternoon, I was in a bit okay. like... Mood, but honestly, I have to tell you something. I come back from holidays where I do nothing. We did nothing on holidays. Okay. So I told this to my life coach, you know, I don't actually know how to start working in a slow way. I do 1,000 things in one day. Like today, I've done so many things. I'm doing the recruitment. I'm also doing so good on my Duolingo. I'm number three yes, in Italian. And uh, I don't know how to start working slowly. Like I come back from holidays and I go like straight into it, you know? So on Monday, I felt like I worked for three days. So on Tuesday, I thought it was Wednesday. So on Tuesday, I already was like stressing that the video needs to go live. And then I realized it was only Tuesday. So the thing with me is I need to learn to kind of slowly lull myself into things. But honestly, there's no need also to lull myself into things because I am a soldier. You know that? Yeah. And it's just how I am. And then I ask also both my therapist, my life coach, my family and friends if something's wrong with me because of the way that I'm disciplined and the way that I work and the way that I am. Because I'm still happy with it. But the modern culture is teaching us that you need to be gentle 
little to yourself and I agree but at the same time that's not who I am like I am a very disciplined person and someone that loves to work hard and Filippo is the same way. same way like this morning he was up working since 6 a.m. when I realized he's not in bed I was like what happened he's like I woke up and I wanted to make all these phone calls already like I was already calling Middle East so I was like wow so I'm in great mood today yesterday I thought like so many things were wrong with me because I just work differently and I have like different kind of stamina and different kind of things today is good I put the camera on because people said I look so cool today but only today or I always get cool I never actually come to Bulgaria you come here all the time right Filippo yeah. I should come here more actually it's quite nice even to sit and work here if I want to change the environment yeah. guys I'm obsessed with this bag it's so beautiful and so perfect and Bulgaria strongly recommend the lunch obviously this is good this bread is the best bread in the world also this is so good we ordered the pasta both of us and this is the next thing I'm gonna try get myself off yeah baby me too please yeah Let's do that. It's okay, one thing at a time. Can't do everything is, at once, you know? So what is so this? Do you know? This is a carrot, celery, and onion extract that's tempered with some uh, champagne. And Ooh, with it's a signature. Signature of the yeah. burger. That's an amuse bouche. Now that. Is it to open up your appetite? Lovely. I hope you can see me. I am actually at Van Cleef and I want to tell you a few things. First of all, I left my one motive guillotte earring that I lost, the other one. So we're gonna wait for the new pair to arrive. And my favorite, 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 favorite customer advisor at Van Cleef is back from maternity leave. So I'm so excited because she's the best. And I ordered some other stuff and then I'm gonna head home. So yeah, I ordered some new pieces which were on my wish list for this year because remember one, my big in for this year is to only buy things that I want and not buying things randomly. Guys, look at this bracelet. It's white gold. It's so special. I love it. Okay, guys. Home sweet home. I realized I haven't actually shown you what I got from Fali Rosati for Christmas. It's so gorgeous. Beautiful, perfect brown cashmere scarf with my initials. I actually have one from last year as well and I really love it. And also, guys, this is the best cashmere in the whole entire world. So right now, I was wearing the hat. So it's like baby hair is having like a whole life on its own. I have approximately 33 minutes at home until i can stay at home and finish off some things that i'm doing you're actually watching this on the day that the video is going live i have like other stuff that i want to film so i wanted to film for 2024 maybe trends that i think are like relevant and that i think will be good to know i also wanted to film some of my kind of like goals video and dreams and things like that and i also wanted to what else did i want to do i wanted to film i have like a huge insane order of things that are really want to try and have a look at together with you guys so that's that i think i'm gonna finish this vlog here i'm gonna go and make myself another cinnamon latte i had lunch with Filippo, as you guys know and i literally asked him i was like okay so we're going to monaco tomorrow right and he's like actually i have some bad news maybe we're not going to monaco Excuse me. So I don't even know if tomorrow I'm gonna vlog from Monaco. That's one thing that we need to figure out. But this weekend we are going to St. Moritz. So I think there will be another vlog from St. Moritz. Just like very different from the Vlogmas ones. Because Vlogmas is very different because I tend to show you a lot of daily vlogging. And when I do like a trip vlog, it's again, I think different style of filming and everything kind of ends up being a little bit more differently. So let me know if you would like to see that. Either way, I will love you and I'll leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give this video a like and comment and whatnot. But anyway, I won't bore you with that. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!